In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the perfect trick shot every time. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rucker Films, and in today's video, we're talking about this really awesome effect where you can get the perfect trick shot each and every time. Now, of course, this is a filmmaking channel. I'm not going to teach you how to actually throw this in the bowl perfectly every time. As you can see, I missed, but we're going to fake it with video. So first and foremost, you need to mount your camera to a tripod and you need to dial in all your settings to manual. Now it's super important when you're filming this that there is nothing moving in the background. So don't film this in a busy city center. Don't film this in front of a road or a waterfall. Make sure the background is not moving. As you can see, I just have a plain white wall with the green screen and some other stuff behind me, but it's not moving. Now, it's really important to separate the frame into a few different areas. So you want to have your subject on one side of the frame. So in this example, I'm in the middle. And it's really important that I don't go all the way over here where this bowl is, because this is where I'm going to be throwing the ball to. So I'm going to start rolling the camera. I'm going to run into the shot and I'm going to go three, two, one, action. I'm going to throw up in the air. We'll throw the sock up into the air and we'll try and make sure it doesn't land behind me in the shot here. So if it lands here, unfortunately that's not going to do the trick because it's going to land into our shot and it's going to look obviously fake. So you want to try and throw the ball up into the air and you want to try and get it out of the shot. It's super important though that you pay close attention to the normal direction of travel. If I was throwing the ball into this bowl in real life, obviously it's going to travel up here. It's going to go up across here and then come back down. So if you throw it up there, then the effect is not going to work. So throw the ball or throw the object in the right direction, throw it up there and then let it land and leave the camera rolling for a few more seconds. Now you want to get up off the chair or wherever you're sitting or standing and you want to leave the camera rolling for around 10 seconds without you in the shot. This is your clean plate and you need this in order to do the effect. Now from here, you want to grab the ball that you just threw. You want to stand slightly off frame and then you just want to drop it into the bowl. So in the first shot, I'm going to launch it up. It's going to land off screen and that's going to look awesome. Then I'm going to get up and we're going to get the clean plate. Now I'm just going to stand off screen for this bit and I'm just going to drop this into the bowl. So once you've opened up Adobe Premiere Pro and you have your footage on a timeline and it's all separated into ball throw, ball land and clean plate, just in case you need it, we can begin with this effect. So we want to hover over the shot where I'm throwing the ball up into the air and we want to roughly find the point where I let go of the ball and it's just entered the top of the frame. Now from here, you want to grab the second part of the shot. That's the dropping part. And you want to pull that onto video layer two, overlapping the very end of that first clip. Now it's really important to get the timing right here. You want to get the timing right before we go any further. So the ball comes up and you really want to make sure that it looks like it's in the air for the correct amount of time. Now, once you're happy with how this looks, we'll just extend that second clip on video layer two up to the very beginning. So we'll pull the left of this over to the very beginning. And if we play this back, we've got the ball landing, but I obviously have disappeared. So this is where we're going to do some masking. So we'll change the view from fit to 50%. We'll go into opacity, We'll select the pen tool and making sure that video layer two is selected, we'll draw a mask around the right hand side of the video. Now we'll change the view back from 50% to fit. And if we play this back from the very beginning, you should see as I throw the ball, it goes up into the air and then it lands in the bowl. And there you go. It's a really easy and really simple trick. And that is how you do the perfect trick shot every single time right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, check out the previous video, and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. Thank you for watching.